talking about one of the ancient history in Nigeria, the story of Yemuya the water goddess will never be left out. This is because many people, especially the Yorubas, believe in her existence as her beauty cannot be compared to none. Aside from living under the sea, it is also believed that she takes good care of the water. A young man identified as Joshua Iwale, at Yorinair, took his time to refresh people's memory about who Yemoya really is and why she is being worshipped by many across the world. According to his post, he disclosed that the water goddess was married twice but the marriages failed. That was not all. Oya Wale also narrated how her youngest son wanted to sleep with her but Yemoya took to her heels and never returned to the land again. Today she is now being worshipped and only reveals herself once in a while to humans. Oya Wale's posts read, The story of Yemoja, Yeaomo Eja, mother of fishes, the great mermaid of the Yoruba tribe, Odudua Federation Worldwide. Words cannot explain or describe the beauty bestowed upon the goddess of fishes, the size of her gigantic round breast would sweep any man off his feet, her eyes blue as the ocean, her voice is sweet like that of a newborn baby, her skin dark and shining like the night star. History has it that her first marriage to Okefeorishaoko, god of agriculture, failed because he made mockery of her breast. He called her Alomu Gaga, meaning lady with the fat breast. The day she left Orishaoko, she went to the shores of a river, cried all day and night, brought out knife, angrily cut off one of her breast. She passed out at the river bank then. Suddenly Orisha Alokin, Poseidon, appeared to her, healed and comforted her, he invited her into his kingdom in the underworld, this was where he fortified and initiated her, named her Yemoja, Orisha of fishes, half human, half fish. After a decade, she summoned the courage to start coming out of the ocean and mixing with people, whenever she stepped out of the ocean she had her human legs, she was very successful in trading jewelries, pearl and seashells from the deep of the ocean. She lived like a queen and she was the most successful amongst the people. She became a feminist. She refused to get married to any man because she was of the opinion that her husband would ridicule her if he found out that despite her astonishing beauty, she only had one breast. But Massa came to the peak one day when Yemoya was coming back from the market. She felt incomplete, and began to murmur to herself that what is the essence of beauty and money and all the power she has without children a husband to share them with? How will she, Yemoya, coming from market to her house every day alone without children a husband to come to? She feels the irrepressible urge to get married again. The said day the god of iron or Ogun, the real god of war, was coming back from war when he overheard all the murmuring of Yemoja. Orisha Ogun was a very fierce-looking man with eyeball as red as blood. No woman was interested in him as both man and woman feared him across the land. He thought about utilizing the opportunity, he approached Yemoja and he said, I may not be as handsome as you wished but I am the god of war, I would protect you and be there for you if truly you would love and never make mockery of my looks. Yemoja told him, I Yemoja would love you for all eternity, only if you don't make mockery and touch my one breast. They both kept these promises for a long time. Yemoya had many children for Ogun. However things changed one day. Ogun trying to be a caring and lovely husband, despite his fierceness wants to show kindness and surprise to Yemoya. Ogun came home one afternoon when Yemoya was sleeping. Entered the kitchen to cook food to surprise Yemoya but as a result of his inexperience in cooking he begins to handle all the kitchen utensils the way he handles sword in battlefield. As a result of this Yemoja's favorite pot fell down and smashed into pieces. 
The sound suddenly awoke Yemoya. She entered the kitchen and saw the mess Ogun had made. She then angrily said, What is this you have done to my kitchen and my pot? You this blooded eye looking man. Ogun felt terribly down and embarrassed, and in his attempt to explain the whole situation to Yemoya and appease her, he mistakenly touched Yemoya's breast. Yemoja became very angry. She carried her youngest child Arangun and left Ogun for good. History has it that she disappeared with Arangun. She lived with her son for a very long time in an unknown region when Arangun was of age because of isolation. The beauty of his mother said asterisk cd him. He committed abomination. He forcefully had s asterisk x with his mother. Yemoja ran away for her dear life. Arangun pursued her. When Yemoja ran out of strength, she called upon a Lokan for help, he heard her, then suddenly she was engulfed with water and protected till today, Yemoja worshippers bring offerings to the shores of the river chanting songs to her, she would roll out of the river in her mightiness, nobody dares look her in the eyes, she would bring pearls for her worshippers as a sign of appreciation the end, amazing, what do you think will happen if women rule the world? Nigerian Street Interview, NAIJ.com TV Source